Hey guys, so for this video, I'll be unboxing 101's 0 plus 1 equals 1. I promise you, they have weird titles for their albums. But, yeah. Um, there's two versions for this. I don't know which version this is. I don't remember the name. But I got this for a really good price, which is mainly the re main reason why I got this. And this is also for collection purposes, because I collect newest or New East, however you want to call them, um, since they debuted, and Minhyun is in this group. I am not going to collect any of these other members, specific groups that they will fall into, because uh, I'm pretty sure I am not going to like the music that they're going to put out um, because of their respective labels. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I will end up liking one of them. But I highly doubt it. But mainly for Minhyun and for the other guy from Fantagio who should be a solo artist. <laughs> but yeah. Disclaimer as well. I do like 101. Um, I actually really, really enjoy the first release. That was a really good album. Mm, but this and the one that they had after... Really, really generic. So I will talk about, I'll review this album after I unbox it. If you're curious to hear my thoughts. But um, if I bought this, it's because I like them. I collect, I guess, 101 since I have two other albums and I really want to get the other two. Because they have one or two decent songs in each of them. Uh, but before I start, um, I think this does follow the packaging that they had for... Um, for their first mini, I still have to get the repack of that. Um, but compared to a jewel case, this is how big it is. So if you're curious, if you don't have the album, here's how big it is. So it's pretty big. Um, and, oh, I guess, never mind. It has a magnet, but it's not strong. <laughs> uh, so you got to be careful with this uh, album so you don't get it damaged. So here's the front. Let me zoom in a little bit focus more i really like this cover though i really love this photo i think they look really nice you do get six songs and then apparently like a version of one of them so seven tracks in total here's the spine yep and it comes with a bunch of goodies let me Pull them out. Actually, I'll show these last. I'll show these goodies last. And let's go through the photo book first. Um, here's a disc. There's nothing on the back, as you can see. And props to whoever came, like, who was in charge of the CD holder. Um, these CD holders are the best um, because the foam thing, um, first of all, Big plus, it has the holder, like the CD holder. Um, it's indented, so this is not going to move. It's not going to move. Um, like this is indented. Because sometimes what they would do is they would just place this on top of a plain card cardboard and just put a foam thing. And when it's being shipped, or maybe if you move the album around... Um, it moves. Um, if you own a bunch of K-pop albums or you collect K-pop albums in general, you know what I'm talking about. Um, obviously you can always stick it back when it's like made of foam, but it's really irritating and sometimes it's just, it is extremely irritating. So this is like the best, um, CD holder type of thing that you can have for a K-pop album in my opinion, because <laughs> it's not going to get damaged. You can take it out easily because it has a place where you can... Put your finger and try to pull it out. And yeah. And I like that it has it right there. But big plus for that because it was not going to fall out because this magnet right here is not that great. And also, you're, this is probably going to get damaged too. So this is like the downside of the box packaging. And you get the lyrics on a separate booklet, which I actually like. Uh, I like. I think this is an interesting idea because 
You can just look at a photo book without just having to read all this stuff. And if you want to read the lyrics, and you can just pull this out and don't have to pull out this thick photo book, which is another plus. Let's go through the photo book. I, it's been such... I, I forgot like half of these guys' names. I've just been busy with life, but... I like all of them. Like, I feel like if they were like a legit group and by legit I mean like they get to continue like releasing music until they for a while not just like a year I would invest more of my time into them like getting to know about the members and all that but they're not gonna be like a like a normal group he's he's my favorite like the, I forgot his name And some of the members, and I don't want to comment too much on it because I know some people are sensitive. Some of the members in this group don't really bring that much um, to the music, I guess. <laughs> but that's what you get with like um, um, a huge group. But I feel like they all blend well, though. Um, like, for example, he he's really talented. But he's overshadowed about the other ones, other members. And he, I think, his, if he's the main vocal, um, needs to be a solo. Don't have commentary on this one. It's been a while since I watched <laughs> this show. And I didn't even watch it completely. But I think Kang Daniel, I... It's just his vibe. He really fits this leader vibe, in my opinion. Mm. Or was this the main vocal? I know. No, this is the main vocal for sure. I love his voice. I think he's great. He definitely improved a lot, and I, I always kind of drag uh, Guan Guanlin, um, because he's the least talented in this group, um, and he, but then again, he like he barely trained, so <laughs> some of the other ones have been training for a while, or if in Minhyun's case, he's been in the like in the music industry for a really long time, um, so. I applaud him for like keeping up with them with a the little time that he really got to um, um, practice. And this one, I think his name is Ji Hoon. This one's more just the looks. I don't really, he doesn't really stand out to me. This was the one I forget the most about. I don't even know his name. This is the most forgettable one. This one's my favorite. I know my favorite. Yep. The funny one. I'm glad he made it. Um, Because even though he's not very talented vocally, he can keep up with the dancing, I guess. But it's just about his vibe. I like him. Like, he stands out. This one, he fades a little bit, but he's really talented as well. Of course, Min Hyun. He's looking different these days. I don't know what's up with that. Okay. So I don't mean any hate by doing my commentary on the 101 members. Um, I guess this is probably for a concert. Probably expired. Wait, here's the code. And here is the puzzle pieces that I got. And this thing, which looks like a coaster. Okay, my commentary on these things, I personally find them extremely useless. 
Um, and I know photo cards are useless, but I don't mind photo cards. I, but I don't collect photo cards, but I don't mind getting a photo card. Like photo cards are okay. But these, these extra things, I feel like I'm getting sick. Um, and this is not to drag one on one in particular because a lot of groups do this. So this is not just for, uh, one on one. And it's mostly companies trying to make more money. Um, and sell more albums. So we will buy multiple copies to get to complete the puzzle pieces, the the poster and in, inside random poster and the photo cards. So it's like it's becoming too much in my opinion. And now with like multiple versions and this may turn into like a stupid little rant, but I think like I think this stuff is such is so useless um and it upsets me that a lot of fans who really want to support and want to collect everything <laughs> have to keep up with all this crap like I honestly don't I feel really bad for those who like are really passionate about like one-on-one and uh, BTS or major groups like even 17 because I, I like 17 a lot too but and, and BTS. I like all of these groups, but I just don't like the fact that these companies are making multiple versions for the albums. Two, is, I guess, is okay, but like, like four versions and all these extra things so people just buy more so they can complete the puzzle or whatever. Yeah, I don't. I'm not here for it. So that's why I don't have the photo card for this. Because I bought this really cheap. Because people, it's in reality, um, a lot of it, like the 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 sales nowadays don't really reflect reflect that much of the musicality of the group, or if the album was necessarily like really good, um, because people are just bulk buying to sell photo cards and or collect photo cards and puzzle pieces and all of that obviously I benefit from it because I just buy it like without the photo card and it's a lot cheaper but now when with these puzzle pieces like I'm just I'm just not here for it um uh but again this is not the member saw this is all like a marketing thing so it's definitely working which is why they're making more multiple versions and adding random uses things like even like stickers like don't get me started on that um but as for this album um being completely honest is extremely forgettable um and obviously there's reasons why um, this, like, and this is, again, this is not to drag 101 because they're really talented. And I feel like the, the first album, they got really lucky with the song selections. Um, and they, th this is probably just from a pool of songs that they just have to select, record, and then make choreography really fast because they're trying to make as much money, milk these guys as much as they can, make the money. And obviously, they make their good amount of money as well until they they're over like until they all split and go to their um their groups or they're gonna be solo whatever uh so there isn't that much time to really um well for the members or whatever to like i guess be involved with the process and i don't, I don't think every k-pop group needs to be extremely involved with writing or producing like i'm completely fine with groups just buying songs off producers but whenever you hear albums from EXO, BTS, uh, Red Velvet, Blackpink, um, Girls' Generation, um, Big Bang, etc., big groups that are really successful or that paved the way for um, a lot of K-pop artists these days, you can tell there's either a theme in the album that the there was especially for fx2 that there was a strong um there was a in-depth selection of the songs they either bought or wrote whatever 
On one-on-one's case, I feel everything with them is rushed. Again, I understand because they're trying to milk them. But whenever I look back at the year, I, I'm not going to remember uh, one-on-one's music. Uh, it just seems really um, fast-paced or uh, fast food-esque music like like it's just made uh, they just make like a dance song that, or they, they just make them a give them a random dance song that they found from like a producer in Europe um, add Korean some clear Korean lyrics into it and it's done and that's the title track the music video is very generic for the most of the most of the part and the car the choreography it's been good for them but Aside from that, everything just seems so rushed. The album, the albums that they release don't really seem to be too cohesive. And the songs are just... Whoever's picking these songs needs to be fired. Um, because I I can remember the, the first album that I really enjoyed, but I tried listening to this. Um, I was actually really looking forward to their comeback. I heard a preview for it and I was just turned off by it. I tried to listen to this album and I, no, uh, the decent song, actually the decent songs in here are the, are the slower ones, um, which is a rare case for me because I prefer more upbeat songs that I can listen to on a regular basis. Um, and usually the the mid-tempo or the slower track songs are songs that I usually listen to while I'm doing homework or when I'm just browsing in the internet, whatever. Um, so I recommend listening to the this album, um, but definitely give the, the slower pace songs a listen because they're decent. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I, it's like they picked a random dance song uh, as a single for this this time around. I still haven't listened to the new one that, um, which is like a interesting subunit type of thing that they're doing, um, which I was just so turned off by this that I didn't pay too much attention to the, uh, other release they just had this summer. I'm like, what? What's going on with their management? Like, for real. And I feel, for, I really feel bad for them, but this is obviously selling, so it's not like, oh, it, it it you gonna know, for those who I guess want to argue like oh it sold this amount of copies more than blah 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 but that doesn't necessarily mean too much like if if you're not if you you're buying I mostly buy albums for for me for me to listen to and I know this maybe I guess hypocritical uh, because I did get this but um, newest is a group that I follow for. For since debut, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, so I've something in me just feels like ugh, I need to get it to have like a complete collection for them. And Minhyun is in this group. Um, if he wasn't, I would have stopped buying this their stuff because I did enjoy the first mini, but this just seems rushed. Everything that they do is rushed. Um, I wish they had a better pool of songs to pick from. Um, because it doesn't seem like they're, they're, the producers that are sending songs are not giving them very quality, good quality songs, in my opinion. Um, and I, and I've seen actually in a lot of unpopular opinion, because it's videos, which are ne not necessarily unpopular opinions. I think unpopular opinions are not really a thing. Um, well, at least most of those videos they all say the same thing and a lot of them are dragging uh one on one and I completely like agree. Um so it seems like a lot of people agree that one on one's musical or music is not that great. At least from this year. Well so far this year because they'll probably release another album. Um but yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like bittersweet. Like, uh, I'm glad. It, I, what I'm really happy about is that these guys, they're all 
all of them got to, you know, like, I guess this is, like, more of a rant now. I am really happy, um, because I didn't even watch the whole show this time around for Produce 101 Season 2. I didn't watch Season 1. Uh, I, I'm really, because I watched a few couple episodes and I could tell, like, who was going to be in, who was going to be not, who not going to be in, because the ones that got selected, they got more camera time. And, uh, once the, the vocal guy started getting, like, more exposure in terms of the songs, like, I knew who was, if he didn't make it, I would have been, like, really surprised. But you can usually tell, at least for the first and second season, who's going to make it. Um, the only surprise is that JR from, or, yeah, yeah, JR from Newest did not make it. That was, like, the only kind of shocker. Um, and I, I'm really glad that they, all of these guys got to accomplish their dreams of, like, you know, becoming a top star, selling millions of albums, um, getting that public exposure, so a good, well, teens, um, all the teens in South Korea know who they are, and, but, um, they even had some issues with, um, touring abroad, well, at least in the U.S., like, they're, they're not selling tickets, like, that's the thing, like, I feel like a lot of people just live up for the hype that they, that's behind them, and don't really appreciate them musically because they don't really have that much quality to their to their music and k-pop itself is not that serious to be honest um but these songs are i don't know they're not on par with a lot of other groups um but this is doing well because of their brand um but yeah again i don't mean any hate by it i just kind of want to express my feelings on this um but yeah I, it's, it's so confusing to me why they can't just, with all that money that these guys are making, why they can't get better producers. Um, I don't it's like they just give anything to the fans and they'll just buy it. Um, but yeah, I hope, um, if they, gonna, they're probably going to release something before the year ends, that that is quality and they can leave on like with their held with their heads held up by releasing a good solid album um yeah um I'm and one thing I'm also curious is like what's gonna happen with with them the thing with like I guess this is turned to like rant slash review the thing with like boy groups um Whenever they separate too, they do have like a soil, uh, not soil, a solid fan base for the most part. So, I, I, I'm, I'm really curious to see if they're gonna tank, or like flop, like um, the IOI groups, because uh, <laughs> they're they're really doing they're doing pretty bad. Like they're not doing that well. Um, um, yeah. Uh, so I'm curious what's going to occur with uh, one of ones uh, individual groups. Um, like, but I, like I mentioned throughout the video for when I was looking at the photo book, like some of these um, guys, like they fit more of a solo brand, uh, but they fit like as a group, they all fit well like this. Cause like, like I said, they're not all of them are extremely talented, but it evens out uh, with this, like, the, the Produce 101, um, group making process really does work well. I don't know how it's going to work with a new season. Um, but it, it worked for the first two. Um, because IOI, I think, was a perfect group. Unfortunately, got destroyed. This is another really great group. Um, uh, but... As individuals, some of some of these can really do well solo. Like the one, the Fantagio guy, that's my favorite, um, and the the main vocal. Like he, she, he should be solo, and I think he's gonna get. He's gonna. He might if if they pull the right strings, he might be able to pull a Changa. Um, 
because she's doing so well. Like, she's the only one not flopping from Iowa. <laughs> she really benefited from that show. Um, anyways, guys, um, if you have any questions or want to say anything, you can always comment down below um, or ask, etc. And, yeah. Uh, sorry if I offended, I guess, uh, Wannables. I think that's what the fans are called. But I bought this. I'm supporting them. Like I, I just want. I just want to hear better music. And and I, I don't know if you're if you're selling so much and making so much money. You know, hire better producers. Like buy some, buy songs from like producers that, like, have made iconic K-pop songs. I don't know. Um, alright guys, bye. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video which I'll be unboxing a K-Well album and it'll probably arrive later this week. Um, and if you haven't watched, I'll, I'll probably do a haul for July and I made a top 15 K-pop songs for the first half of the year if you, want, if you haven't seen that. Alright guys, bye.